Hello there, this is David from David Books and Comics, and today I'm going to talk about Girel of Joari, who um, just finished reading it. I read this volume and the story in another volume, which I'll show in a little bit. This, wa this series was written by uh, C.L. Moore, and as I may have mentioned before, C.L. Moore was born in 1911 and died of Alzheimer's in 1987. Her first uh, professional story, which I just finished reading last week actually, appeared in 1933 in the pages of Weird Tales and it was called uh, Sham Blow. It featured a sp space pirate uh, character called Northwest uh, Smith. In uh, 1934, also in the pages of Weird Tales, she created the first real uh, sword and sorcery heroine, and that's who you see here, all with the red hair and described as having, in all the stories actually, as having yellow eyes. And uh, so, Girel of Joari. And uh, the stories were collected in this volume for the first time by Paperback Library uh, in 1969. So this is actually the first time that they were actually uh, compiled in one book. She is uh, accurately uh, depicted the way I've, I imagined her. So red hair yellow eyes, and usually in armor. She is in a kind of alternate world or universe of France in a little fictional city or city-state because French country, the French, the country of France just didn't exist back then. And uh, that didn't come until much, much later in a city-state called Jouari. Nation-states, of course, didn't exist the way we know them today. As I was reading the stories, I could see two major influences. One, of course, is the influence of Robert E. Howard's uh, King Cull and Conan stories. And the other is the influence, I would say, of uh, Joan of Arc whose uh, execution and trial on the 30th, May, 30th of May, 1431, is uh, documented, really well documented, unfortunately. Nonetheless, Joan, Lee, Joan, uh, Joan of Arc, that is, is only used as a template. Girel, with her uh, red hair and yellow eyes, comes uh, vividly to life all on her own thanks to C.L. Moore's very uh, creative imaginings. I enjoyed the stories with their vivid depictions uh, despite a similar uh, pattern and flow to the stories where you see Girel seeking revenge on the villains and she has to use confront, con, use arcane and supernatural means to overcome those villains. This this edition, it's called the uh, Golden Age Masterworks. It's the Golan's edition. Is I would is more complete actually. This one uh, was published recently. I think twenty nineteen. And it features all the stories in uh, in the their order of appearance from uh, 1934 to 1937. And 1939 is Hellsgard is the last one. The story uh, quest uh, for Star Stone is a crossover uh, story with uh, the. C.L. Moore's two favorite uh, protagonists, adventurers, Northwest Smith and um, Girel appearing in, in one story, a crossover story for the first time. They are 
great reading, great uh, fun, fun to read. They're, like I say, what makes the stories engaging is the character in the way she confronts evil. Um, I would uh, compare her to uh, Robert E. Howard to a certain extent. Um, in terms of my own preferences, I think I prefer uh, Howard's stories, Howard's Conan stories to, to Girel. But it, nonetheless, uh, good stories, vivid, vivid and in very imaginative worlds that she puts us in. Now, uh, an, an interesting and revealing note is given in uh, uh, this book. This is uh, the one of the first, it says first time in, in paperback, and it features an introduction by uh, Lee Brackett. And uh, it, it's a very good introduction because, and I'm going to read this to you because it's very interesting. Now, let's see. Let me find it first. Let me pause this and find it. Okay, here, I found it. So it says here, it is also interesting to speculate on whether or not a dark Agnes, that's the protagonist, of, that's dark Agnes of Chastillon, she uh, she is speculating, that's Lee Brackett is speculating whether Dark Agnes uh, was inspired by the Lady of Joiry. And it says here, certainly Howard was aware of Girel. He had read Black God's Shadow and liked it and said so. And he sent a copy of Sword Woman to C.L. Moore to read. She loved it and hoped that there would be more. But at this late date, it is impossible to say which character was first conceived or whether, indeed, there was any connection between them at all. Girel, of course, appeared in Weird Tales before Sword Woman was written. It is reasonable to assume that Howard and Moore both got the inspiration of their martial ladies from the same sources. The historical accounts of those women to whom Howard dedicates his chronicle of Dark Agnes, from the ballad of Mary Ambry, and quite likely from the famous saint in armor, Joan of Arc. In any case, the resemblance between Agnes and Girel is purely superficial. There are marked differences between the two. What's uniquely the same, of course, is they both have red hair. Just like our other female uh, uh, superheroine of sword and sorcery, um, Red Sonia. Uh, the red hair, by the way, is a, a nod more to Sword Woman and Girel than it is uh, following the Robert E. Howard creation of Red Sonia of Rogatine, whose hair, I believe, was either black or brown, or something like that, but it wasn't red. Anyway, so Red, red Sonia, I think, is a inspired by Girel of Jouari. All right, so it was interesting that that historical connection. I hadn't uh, known of it before. I knew I had this book, of course, but I hadn't really uh, noticed the similarity before. So it indicates that uh, red-haired swordswomen seems to have been the popular thing back then. And maybe it would have been what Howard, Robert E. Howard preferred in terms of his, uh, his uh, female protagonists. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this short video on uh, Girel of Joiry. Like I said, I enjoyed the story by far. And I read them uh, in both ebook form uh, and of course, I had to read this in the actual form because the ebooks have some errors, so I wanted to read accurately what the words were saying. But anyway, I read the uh, I read I picked up this book because I needed to read the entire series. And like I said, I was impressed. I enjoyed the uh, the character, really well fleshed out. Uh, 
there is not quite as much swords play as you would see in say a Robert E. Howard story or a King Cole story for that matter a Carl Edward Wagner story um, but nonetheless uh, the stories never disappoint they're uh, well written of course C.L. Moore Catherine Lucille Moore is an excellent uh, fantasy and science fiction writer she's written uh, several science fiction uh, novels short stories this is one of them. This is called Judgment Night. This is the first paperback edition from Paperback Library. Also from Paperback Library. And this paperback came out in 1965. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this presentation on... Uh, the Sword and Sorcery Adventures of Girel of Jouari. And if you did, always remember to give me that like. I like the comments. I always like your comments. And um, as always, uh, subscribe. You can share video uh, with anyone who wants to know more about Girel. And there's some excellent uh, YouTube videos that are extant uh, throughout the YouTube and Booktube channel on Sword and Sorcery and Girel of Jouari. All right, so thumbs up if you like. Thanks everyone for subscribing, and as always, I appreciate the comments. Okay, thanks. Bye.